Hey everyone, and thanks for tuning in to this week's project. This week I have a maple log that's been drying for about 18 months, and I'm going to be turning a pedestal ball, so stick around and enjoy the video. And I have a little favor to ask right at the beginning here. I have a bet going with someone that this video can get 2,000 likes and that I can get to 15,000 subscribers by the end of the month, which this is May 2020. So if you don't mind helping me out by clicking the thumbs up button or subscribing if you're not subscribed, if you're already subscribed, please consider sharing it to your social media. I appreciate it. Thanks so much. On with the project. So before even putting the, the blank on the lathe, I obviously harvested this about 18 months ago and uh, cut it with the chainsaw to uh, get it down to size to, to fit on the lathe. Even though I knew it was gonna be, wasn't going to be fully balanced, this is what I'm doing here um, to get it round and uh, trued up. There's a shot from above. Still trying to make it round. And as you can see, I have that tail stock up here for added support. It is mounted with a woodworm screw. And although I know it's on there really secure, um, if I can have this tail stock up, I usually do. At this point I'm looking at the bark and thinking, you know, that that's going to be the bottom, but how can I leave some of the bark um, on and have still have a flat foot, so... So as usual, I use the Carter and Son bowl gouge quite a bit on each project. This one is no different. Uh, I go between this bowl gouge and a skew chisel and a carbide tool at one point towards the, uh, towards the end. So I removed the tailstock because I needed to get in there and, and make the uh, foot. I'm going to use a recess on this bowl. And here's the skew chisel that I'm using to flatten the bottom. This is a Carter and Son skew chisel, just like the bowl gouge. And FYI, I am not sponsored by Carter and Sons. I wish. Um, I just really like their tools. So as you can see, starting there with uh, the diamond parting tool and back to the skew chisel here to uh, make the foot, make the, what will, the, the four jaw chuck. What will that grip onto? And before reverse mounting it, just cleaning up some of the edges, making sure they're really clean cuts, and that the profile is exactly how 
I wanted. I'm trying here to um, make the pedestal a little bit more pronounced. So using some Starbond CA glue and accelerator here to fill the cracks. This is black in the medium thick. And those cracks were, they had some depth to them. So I used a very fine tip to try to get them in there. And here's the carbide tool that I'm using to uh, remove uh, the CA glue that's there. This is a lot faster than using sandpaper to remove it. So after that's cleaned up and a little bit of sanding, which I did not film, uh, using some denatured alcohol here to clean the surface uh, and uh, re-sanding with 220, which is where I stopped before the denatured alcohol. Re-sand with 220 and then I will go up to 320 and then apply a sealer. denibigant here to before I apply the uh, abrasive paste and polishing paste from Axe. There's a discount code in the video description if you would like to use Axe um, and order some. It is 10% off. Use code PF10 at checkout and you'll get 10% off your order. And as you can see from this video and most of my other videos, the product works great, so I do recommend it if you are in the market for that sort of thing. reverse mounted here and as I think you can see on the video at least I can while I'm doing the voiceover um, it, it was a little out of um, out of round not quite true I adjusted it this is looking a little better here uh, but the uh, the top here was not uh, true at all so once I got some of that material off it was it was much much better A lot of material to remove. This was a, a large bowl. So just taking my time, making sure the bowl gouge is sharp. I stopped to sharpen probably four times for this, for the, just the inside of the bowl. It's just a better, uh, for me, a better, more relaxing process when the tool is very sharp. And I don't know about you guys, but if you're a turner, you know that it can be very relaxing. Um, I don't do this for a living, per se. Um, that would be nice if I, if I did, but I do have a day job. So I'm um, just taking my time here. Not a production turner. Although I do sell some of my stuff on Etsy, if you want to check that out, it is linked in the video description as well at, at uh, PF Woodturning Co. on Etsy. This one isn't up there uh, at this point, but lots of others are. 
also, like with the outside of the bowl, denatured alcohol, um, sanding sealer, and then the axe abrasive and polishing paste coming up. Okay, if you're still watching and you haven't hit that thumbs up button, please do. That really helps my channel, helps me keep making more videos. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, although the video is not over yet, um, I am going to take it off the lathe here and give you a close up. And then I will put my branding logo on the bottom and then show you some photos at the end. So until next time, peace out.